Hello kids, hopefully everybody's doing great today. It's a beautiful sunny day in late October, about 90 degrees. Incredibly warm for this time of the year, but uh, hey, I'm not going to uh, complain too much. But anyway, um, we finally got my uh, cabin air filter came today. Got this thing for, I don't know, $7. And uh, if you watch my other video, when I pulled this out, this is the old one. You can see how dirty it is. Uh, I've left it out, and uh, the new one came today, so we'll go ahead and stick this in. I know, exciting, huh? Well, I don't know, some of you guys might have a Taurus. You might want to do this, too. Uh, kind of hard to do this with one hand. Let me see if I can get this out of the box. There we go. There's the new one. Pretty cool. And uh, we're going to go ahead and stick this in before I get a massive uh, sunburn out here. So, uh, uh, to put this in... Um, I think some of you also also know where the how how this is done, but I'll go ahead and show you. You got a clip here, a clip here. You got to take off, and one here. Then when you pull those clips off, you get in here, and this piece of plastic comes up like this. And there's little clips in there. You just kind of pull up on it. Of course, mine is uh, pretty dry rotted from the sun. See the plastic there is. See, it's better days. Um, the cabin air vent is actually right there. So we're going to shove that guy in there. And I've already taken a uh, vacuum cleaner and cleaned out some crap. I still got, looks like, a few little things in there. I'll just pull out with my hands. I get it. I think I got it. A little leaf in there. If you park under trees a lot, especially pine trees, um, Debris gets in there, and it will clog the filter up. And you'll notice that when you turn your fan on, the blower inside, it doesn't seem like it's pushing a lot of air. And this is usually what happens. You get a lot of uh, dirt in there, and it uh, makes it uh, pretty nasty. Gets it all dirty. So we'll go ahead and take this apart and see if I can do this with one hand. Probably not going to be able to. We have to set the camera down. Well, let me do this. Let me do it this way. I'll hold it with my chin, my chinny chin chin, and I'm kind of curious what this is all about. Oh, grab the camera. Oops. Let's see, uh, just instructions on how to put it in. If you have a, if you don't know what you're doing, I guess. So, all right. So now we'll go ahead and stick it in. Now this one's got the little foam around the edge, and. Uh, Let's see. I have to look at this one, make sure which way it goes. So it goes like that. Yeah, so the plastic uh, clip there, you see, goes up. So it would actually go like this, and the foam would go. Okay, yep. So it goes in just like that. So we're going to stick this in. And like I said, I'm going to do it with one hand. We'll see how good I actually am today. I'll push it in there a little bit. Oops, I'm going to set the camera straight so you can actually see it, huh? And uh, there it is. How about that? Air flow with an arrow down. And now I have a nice uh, filter for the cabin air inside. I plan to keep the car, but I think I'm going to sell it. Because I have a couple people interested in it. But, you know, this is what I do. Now and then. <laughs> so there you go, that's in. Then all you gotta do is put your uh, cover back on. Might as well do it while you're watching me. I know you're not, you have nothing better to do, right? <laughs> so push this down with my hand. Everything gets so hot to touch in the afternoon. And now we just kind of slide that clip here on back on there like that. Tell you what, I'll put those clips back on when I'm uh, done filming because it's I gotta use both hands on that. But put the clips on and that's it. And uh, get rid of your old one and say, hey, you got a filter for your air cabin and it should be uh, pretty good. So then I just want to show you guys how to do that. And uh, I don't know, maybe your car has one, you just don't know it, you might want to check. Because like I said, they can get debris in there after many years. And um, you know, people are cheap, they don't work on their cars anymore. And you go out and buy a used car and you have to do everything to it. You might want to check and see. 
if they've actually changed this because it will block the airflow in your air cabin and uh, it just makes it easier to heat and cool the cabin when you want it on demand especially when you're turning the knobs on and you, and you want to call for air conditioning or heat and it's nice to know the response is pretty quick with the air getting into the cabin all right well that's it uh, thanks for watching and uh hey stay tuned for more videos later i got some more work to do today since it's nice and uh beautiful out here not a cloud in the sky incredible i will take this because in about two months three months it'll be snowing out here and i'll be inside the garage all right well thanks for watching everybody and have a great day and uh i'll catch you later